guess I'll put the radio on. Hey, come in. I want you to converse with me. I also know sign language. I have a complimentary sandwich. It's peanut butter. It's I like to call out street names. I still keep the antennae under my wig. Yeah, Brace, I do, Pips. You can read with your nose, too. There's two radio C's signed. Turn the bloody radio down. I'm trying to watch telly. Having escaped the homeware centre posing as damaged stock, Trevor found himself on the run from store security. But with no skills to survive on the outside, he was soon picked up and taken to the home for the socially broken. Trevor is a runaway shop assistant. Ten years of customer small talk and meaningless half conversations have rendered him unable to develop an interest in anyone or anything. But we can rebuild him. We can make him stronger, faster, friendlier. Trevor? Trevor, wakey wakey. Huh? What? Where am I? Your home. Really? Where are my Star Wars figurines? Not your home, silly. The home for the socially broken. Are you a nurse? No, HR. I'm here to help. I don't need any help. I just need to get out of retail. Shh. You must rest. I know how hard it must have been for you. Ten years at the homeware centre. You've got no idea. I do. Look, I made a flowchart. Oh, yes. Ten years in retail. That's an average of one million disingenuous hellos. Oh, yes. They're here in blue, you see. Right. And an equal number of half-hearted how are you? Yes. That's the orange line here. There's quite a lot of thank you come again, too. Which is here in yellow, while the red line rising sharply here is your stress. Right. And the purple line represents your interest levels. Does it? See how they dropped away? Well, yes, You've lost but... interest in pleasantries. Have I? It's an occupational hazard. Is it? But don't worry, son. We'll get you patched up and back out there providing good service in no time. But I don't want to provide good service. I want to work for a phone company. Shh, you're delusional. You must rest. I'm not going back, do you hear me? Never. Nurse? What are you doing? Sedating me? It's for your own good. 60 dB, please, nurse. Just relax, mate. This will sting a bit. No, not that. Oh, don't be such a baby. You can sedate me, but I'm never going back to retail, do you hear? (sighs) Never going back. (sighs) Never, never. No, I'm not coming back. All in, Trevor. No, I... Trevor, you shift the I don't want to work in retail. Don't make me say it again, Trevor. Trevor, Trevor, wakey, wakey. What? Never. I'm never going... What? Huh? How long was I under? Ten minutes. That's the length of a coffee break. What a coincidence. It was awful. I dreamt there was a boot camp for retail. Oh, no, they were real. What? Who were they? Rehabilitation. They're from Ward 101. Now, can we say Hello? What? Just a little hello. How are you for Mary? Come on, you can do it. No, it's pointless. Nobody cares about the answer. It's always the same anyway. You're a shop assistant. It's your job to say hello. How are you? It's the customer's job to say fine, thanks. But there are better things to say, like you're very tall for a girl or have you ever dreamt you were a bus shelter? I think you need some fresh air. Come on, let's meet the others. If you're looking for mature themes and bad language, you've come to the right place. Seaside Theatre Group's presentation of Shakespeare's classic Sue and the Sea Cow has been shocking audiences as far as Woody Point with its weak metaphors, clumsy narrative and poor use of lyrical devices. Banned in seven suburbs, this radio play is now nearing the end of its controversial season. In the last episode of Sue and the Sea Cow, we heard more of the general manager's evil plan. I'm going to give these two sea cow beasts a good cloning. Which led Walter to tell Fat Tony, You won't have to wear the sea cow suit anymore. And in the next episode, we learn advanced methods to formalise business transactions. The fisheries minister was so taken aback by my noxious odour that he signed the contract renewal without even looking. At it. And we receive an update on the status of our two young heroes. They've been Sue and the Sea Cow, just one classification ahead of the census. Listen while you can. Wait, throw it to me! Wait, wait, no, yes! <gasps> Uncle Tony's gonna kill us! What do we do? I know who can help. Hey, kids, I'm Hurry, back. he's home! Nobody hurry, better have... Hurry, Oh, no! Who smashed up my crystal train set? Whoever did this, he's 
gonna pay for the rest of their lives. Eesh. Too frightened to take responsibility for something you did? Well, now you don't have to. Just call us, the Responsibilities. Hello? Is this the Responsibilities? We need you. It's an emergency. We face the music because you're too scared of the tune. Don't believe us? How about these testimonials? Yeah. Uh, last week I hit my mum's car with my bowling ball uh, on purpose but when I calmed down I, I realised she would probably kick me out of the house uh, so I, I hired a responsibility. My mum went right off on him uh, and it only cost me 45 bucks. Well I had the 1400 to fix the car but mum still lets me sleep in the basement. I've had a public flatulence problem since the fourth grade. Thanks to the responsibilities, I now have a guy called Derek, and he owns every fluff I do, no matter how smelly. And they charge me by the toot, not the tie. Not every situation is the same, so we base our costings on your specific problem. I got sentenced to 14 years for armed robbery. Because I hate jail, I hired a responsibility to do the time for me. That with all the money I save from the robbery, I can afford to pay the reasonable fee. And I still have money left over for a car radio. He did it. She did it. They did it. It doesn't matter because once the money clears, all they need to hear is... I did it. Oi, who are you? I am John. I run a golf driving range from your neighbour's house. One of my golf balls must have smashed through that window and hit your beautiful crystal train set. I do apologise. The Responsibilities. Oh my god, I just pushed Nana into the pool! Hire us now. Thank you, have a nice day. Cheers, mate. As soon as I hit this play button, radios all over Seaside are going to be locked in. We're mixing it with the big boys now. Don't do it! Don't hit that button! You'll kill us all! Too late. Well, good evening, sir. Do you know why I pulled you over this evening? Uh, uh, no. Well, I clocked you doing 45 kilometres over the speed limit. I'm going to have to issue you with an infringement notice. What? I thought it was 50 here. No, it's only five kilometres an hour for drive throughs I'm afraid. Oh, jeez, the, the wife's going to kill me. Well, I'll be sure to issue her with an infringement notice as well when she does. Righto, here's your ticket. You've got two weeks to pay, and if you wish to dispute it, the details are on the back. Now, can I interest you in three nights in a twin share houseboat near the beautiful Noomba Pier? What? It's only $300. Might help you take your mind off your impending murder. No, no thanks, I'm fine. Something from our snack bag, perhaps? My colleague, Officer Hurley over here, is holding a selection of exotic nuts and sweets. Hello. That'll save 1.5% off your infringement notice. Oh, OK, I'll have a bag of cashews then. How about some drinks with that? Uh, just a small Coke. You can supersize it. It's a value of $3 for just a dollar more. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. OK. It's $250 for the original speeding offence. Well, as you discount, it's $246.25. And then plus the 450 for the nuts and the $4 for the cake. And that's going to come to a tale of $254.75. Now, is that going to be cash or you just want to add it to your speeding fine? Just add it to the fine. Do you have drive-bys? Nah. OK. There you are, sir. Now, sure I can interest you in that twin share house, boat. It's no money down, you pay over 12 months interest free. I can throw in some free prawns with it. No, no mate, I'm right. No worries. Well, let me leave you with this brochure should you change your mind. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Are you collecting the zoo tiles? Or the school stickers? No. Maybe you'd like to donate a dollar to constables in need. Can I just go? Oh, <laughs> absolutely. Anyway then, thank you for choosing the Seaside Police Service. Have a nice day. Oh, hang on. How likely would you be to recommend us to your friends? Oh, hello, Bruce, mate. Yes. Yes, I got the headphones on. Oh, yeah, he fully knows. Yes. No, 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 don't call him. Just hit the record, mate. 
Jill's on drums. Jill. 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 Jillian Gold. Yes. Oh, hello, Ron. Oh, it's going to be real quick, mate. Wait till you hear it. Shouldn't be in there, Sid. Jill, you want to start it, please? Ah, leave me Jill. alone. Jill. Leave me alone. Can you start Don't it, Don't let me sleep. Leave me alone. Oh, come on. No, clean the mess first. I will. No, you won't. Yes, I'll clean it up tomorrow. No, I don't. I believe. promise. Everything all right then, mate? Yes, sorry about that, Ron. We're ready to go again. We... Yeah, make it quick, mate. Yeah, we're going to go from the top. Jill. Jill, not this. Jill, can you pick up your sticks, please? Yeah, that's it. And the other one, Jill. Yes, oh. What are you doing in there, mate? Uh, yes, Ron. Come on, make it up. Yes. It's our last song, mate. Let's go, Sid. Come on. So, okay. We're going to take it from the top. Go, Jill. Oh, yes. What do you call this crap? What's that, Ron? What do you call this crap? Yes, mate. Rolling on the pony. Of a desert illusion. I'm on a carousel of complete confusion. I kept my beanie on my head. And in the morning, you thought I said, Do you like to drink? Do you like to eat? Well, let's hold a seminar near the sink. What is this, Sid? What? What is this crap, Sid? Oh, sorry, Jill, stop. It's crap, Sid. No, it's a new one, Ron. It's terrible, Sid. Okay, mate. Just get out of there. Yes. All right, mate, thanks. Okay, Jill, we got to go. Well, Ron said. Jill, Jill, put it down. Join us now for episode 17 of Sue and the Sea Cow. The ruthless general manager has just returned to the docks with his prized Stella Seeker, having left Sue and the ex-school bully to their fate out on the high seas. Stop your complaining. It's your clones I'm going to be making into Sea Cow Burgers. Not you. Well, not yet. Now, where's Walter? The gate should be opened. I'll have to keep you tied to this berth while I see what's happening. Sure, sure, great news. Walter, there you are. I've got the Sea Cow contract renewed. Give me that contract. Oh, what's that stink? Yes, it's me. It's a mixture of squid juice, orange fresh, seagull poo, and perspiration. I reek, but the smell fell in our favour. The fisheries minister was so taken aback by my noxious odour that he signed the contract renewal without even looking at it. He thought it was the guest book. Ha <laughs> ha, I did it. I'll be making real sea cow burgers again. That's a win. Yes, sir, a win. Well General done, Manager, sir. General Manager. Yes? We are the Sea Cow Protection Society. We came with a Turkish delight cake to say thank you for your commitment to stop farming sea cows. So here is your cake. Is it filled with warm golden syrup? Yes. yes. And cough medicine? Yes. yes. Anyone want a piece? No, I don't know. Ha <laughs> ha! I didn't think so. That's another win, Walter. Yes, sir. A second win. Well done. No one ever asks for a piece. Or get Fat Tony to put it in the freezer with the others. What's that over there? That? Well, uh, that's a, that's a Stella sea cow. I brought it back from extinction. It's fantastic. Would you like to help it out and put it back in its safety pen? I'm going to release it tomorrow. Sure thing, General Manager. Yeah, it's come, come on, come on. Sure thing, General Manager. <laughs> Look at them, Walter. Those fools are going to lock up the only Stella sea cow in existence. Oh, you did it again, sir. Three for three. Call them, sir. What do they call themselves? Ah, uh, hippies? Hippies, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, hippies. General manager. General manager. Well, if it isn't the fisheries minister. I've come on behalf of the prime minister. Rumours are abound that a sea cow monster's on the loose and it came from your facility. Even more breathtaking are the rumours that you don't use real sea cows in your sea cow burgers at all. Ha, who said that? I did. <gasps> Ed, Jasmine, I thought you were in jail. That was years ago. Now I make clothes and bags out of sea moss and sea grass. She's mad. I've got sea cows. Lots of them. I feed them a new type of food to make them extra big and fat, just right for steaks and burgers. Look at that one over there. Well, even so, I'm sorry to say we won't be renewing your contract. <laughs> well, what's this then? What's this? You just signed for it. What? I thought it was the guest book. Walter, you tricked me. Yes. 
because he learned from the best. Me, because I'm the best in the contest. Look, sir, it's the nuclear weapon. It's coming into dock. That's another win. It's fortunate you two are here because that boat brings good news and bad news. What's the good news? The good news, Minister, is that boat has the dreaded sea cow squid monster on board. What's the bad news? The bad news, Aunt Jasmine, is the dreaded sea cow squid monster has Sue and a little friend on board. It doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It means they've been eaten. <laughs> Well, with our heroes eaten and or drowned on the high seas, who now stands in the way of the general manager's evil plans? Find out next week on what could be the last Sue and the Sea Cow. Seaside Radio is produced by Alex Oliver and Chris Holland. And Liz, you have literally forgotten how to speak. Oh, Matt, your friend that I can't see. Ah, uh, Cough. Excuse me. You sound like a vending machine. Thank you. Romeo, oh Romeo, what is your immediate location? Yep, my bleeping mouth hurts. Ow. The loss of a loved one can be a traumatic experience. Bleep you, I hate you. Is your mother an alcoholic? Is your dad in the model train club? Hey, hey, what are you doing? I was listening to this.